Witcher, The Witcher now. I've never played The Witcher. And I so love I The Witcher. Play The Witcher. I've never played The Witcher. I should play The Witcher. I've never played Mon, it, so therefore like my Valhalla, complaint, I, don't have, I have zero complaints. If you like Valhalla, The Witcher 3 will be the best Assassin's Creed Valhalla-like game you've ever played. But Valhalla isn't my favorite game, it's Odyssey. <laughs> It's better than Odyssey. I, I love promise. Odyssey. I have 300 hours in that game. I'm just excited for uh, the new Assassin's Creed. Mirage! Oh! Yeah, give me back classic parkour. Give me back the bringing back the Unity Descent button the scene too. The team is there, bro. We're getting Assassin's Creed Unity parkour. If you like, play that game, you, I you'll love know. Unity. Despite the bugs. I love Unity. Despite the bugs in Unity, that game had the best parkour in the entire series. I didn't series. have many because I played it so far after the patches. Okay. Speaking of after patches, ha ha ha, this is ultimate. <laughs> with no patches and a Wario on screen, Fawn playing a funny little character here. Fawn yep. playing Wario. We uh, believe in Fawn, Wario now. Fawn doing her tradition of, hey, did a character just win a major for the first time in a while? No, 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 no. probably going to be trying it out. No disrespect to Fawn. She no, played not, Wario I in know. Smash 4. I, I was going to say, I know. She played him at his worst. I know Fawn did, but also, we. There's no way that we're seeing Wario tonight, right after Terra, and it has nothing to do with Gluto just winning. Because Wario's fun, and he, he can do fun. it. And also, this is this is Fawn's eternal quest fun. to find a, to find an answer to John Numbers, and Wario might be it, but not when you fumble all your execution to make it back to stage. Crazy bite look, but almost had it. Fawn is playing with insane confidence with this Wario right now. I think Fawn's just playing to have fun. I when, agree. When you have almost like a 50-50, Plus, three, like 200 sets with one person, you gotta have fun. And Wario is a character to do that, and you're seeing it even though we aren't in a slight deficit with numbers playing the try and true eight is year this, old character. Is this. I love John on, but is this Fawn's eternal quest of how to have fun playing John numbers? Yes. <laughs> also, she just ate the soccer ball. That was a really fun funny fact. visual. Yeah, if you, if you Google that, by the way, you get zero results. What, fun with numbers? No, how, how to have. Yeah, how to have fun fighting John numbers. Yeah. <laughs> It's not possible. Oh my god, that connected the soccer ball and numbers. Oh, you're you're fine. <gasps> uh, untackable. Untackable. I was gonna say, Fawn, saved her. Fawn yeah. has those. But yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate for Fawn. RNG decided at, that numbers also has those techs. Not quite, but he's able to make his way back. Act missing the pivot grab. We fit with one of the worst standing grabs in the game. One of the best pivot grabs though. So a huge disparity there, which is why you see so many pivot grabs from players of this character. Fawn not able to that find missed? it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Forward air very active but very stubby and just not able to line it up. But Fawn still able to close it out here, Mark. And honestly, this is for percent to, your, to yourself. Just kind of wait out deep in a little bit and or just be super, super pressured, super aggressive as Wario. Heat numbers off stage for a little bit longer as you think runs out and there it is. A lot more dodgeable to deal with now. Even with Duck Hunt, right? Fawn is a very aggressive player. We're not gonna see e her just camp for Waft here, even if that is the optimal setup in this situation, right? You camp for Waft, then you're a neutral arrow away. Instead, Fawn trying to scrap with numbers and making you wonder if maybe she should have done it. The header spike gonna close it out, and well, that's a question that'll be left unanswered. Uh, we're going to a game number two. Can Fawn vanquish her perennial demon, or is are we gonna see another grand finals of Dill versus John Numbers? I would not mind a numbers and deal finals because it's a run back. They're always hype though too. Xeno 285, one of the best sets I've ever commentated. That's so specific. <laughs> yeah, Dill Dill numbers. Watch, just game three resets. Goes game three. Watch the last game of that event. You're just gonna wonder who is John Numbers right now because he's playing like a man possessed on aggression, and it's just like that he's not allowed to do that. All right, starting off strong with the Wario, all the way on that's play. Insane. That's a cute little bite, and that's a nice, clean 37% on the board. Over 40 now. Nothing taken on Fawn so far. Tilt, so it's an up throw. Uh, yes, yes. Fawn is playing out of her mind. This stock, like you're seeing the conversions in, that are very non-traditional, right? She was looking for game one and just missing. She's executing on them all now. She is warmed up. She is here to play and is looking for the zero to death. Not gonna find it. Numbers <laughs> crouching underneath, stretching those shoulders as only we fit can. Able to find the grab on reaction in there, out of shield and. Now, Fawn is still struggling to find the stock. I love when Wii Fit starts taunting, saying, You're wobbling. How dare you? How disrespectful. Alright, bike gonna be. Alright, excellent air dodge from numbers to avoid the bike incoming from the hit with Soccer Ball. But Fawn taking a nice clean lead so far. Only 30% to her name. 
So definitely super doable. Now DP thing is active, making John a lot heavier, withstand a lot more damage, and also give out more damage. Mm -hmm. That being said, being a little bit heavier can work in the favor of Wario for some of these combos, especially with that middling rage. You, you maybe get one extra Nair or some such here on these extensions. The pivot grab from John, though, that great move gonna come in clutch, trying to get a little cheeky with a win box to set something up and not able to find its mark. Or Fawn scrapping her way out of the corner, something we haven't seen a whole lot of tonight, but she's able to make it happen, and now just a little bit of posturing, postulating. Wario getting down with it. Player about deep breathing, center stage. All right, trying to get the forward there, but not gonna be enough. Trying to get the back air as well. Try to do back airs actually, because <laughs> you can't cross up on that. But the F telling me coming in and the oh, footstool. No. That was a clean footstool too. Mario! That's how I feel every time I get footstool. Eyes clean. And the back throw, yep. Up to up to up to triple up to is crazy. Are we sure Mario got nerfed? Because because that's not supposed to be a thing anymore, post patch. Triple up to? Yeah. Yeah, they nerfed the heck out of up tilt, my friend. That move is a disaster. It's from herself and Fawn not finding the tech that time around. We talked about it earlier. Very rare technical miss from her. Or that could be the break numbers needs to seal this one out 2-0. Fawn looked so good in the opening moments of this game, but it's just getting away from her a little bit. Fawn, I'm not Fawn, I'm sorry. Numbers does want this run back with Dill. As always, wants to get that grand final reset. Wants a repeat of yesterday, honestly. So to get that, we have to get rid of Fawn's last and final stop for this 2-0 oh, no. And just like that, Header is going to be the ticket and Fawn, to that grand final. Watch the way Fawn DI'd there, though, too. She's DI'ing in on those headers. There's and if you DI out here, you're still probably dead because it's Wii Fit specifically. But you see how the DI there is is down and, yeah. Down and... It, it's towards the adjustment. Towards the... Yeah, yeah, it's down and in more than it would be. Otherwise, it's not an outwards DI, which... It, is Fawn kind of just at that point maybe accepting defeat or trying to sneak in past it because you can't, right? The angle doesn't let you bounce off the stage five attack. I think this, this was the, the spot. If, if she had teched this second stock, mm -hmm. I agree. It would have been a much closer game. If, if she techs that, she gets a punish on numbers and he probably dies there. Yeah. Like. So right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that, that specific rock. <laughs> Had we been able to, that that, that, that looks crazy. Wait, yeah, the, the, the <laughs> so if I really you wanted to highlight that snap, if you if you that look crazy, magnet on. hands go crazy. That wasn't even air dodge. That was so just uh, a <laughs> so yeah. The snap. So Wario grabs ledge from here, and if we zoom out, you can. Well, we can't see it unfortunately, but Wario's hitbox there actually extends to about. I think use your finger. It's a little bit easier, maybe. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, you don't oh, have a pen I'm not right on there. The pen. There you go, there you go. We're still learning. It actually extends about up there. So he's actually at the ledge grab already <laughs> because of how the ledge hitbox also extends down a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, wonky, yeah. but it's just that Wario has really big hands. That was a nice Rob you drew. <laughs> oh, because if, yeah, <laughs> I can draw a Rob. Because they're doing a button check right now. I want to draw a Rob real fast. Yes, you draw a Rob, kids. I First drew you draw Rob. a rectangle, then you draw another rectangle. Wait, I drew Rob for a graphic for Supercharged, and I wanted to cry. He has so much stuff. <laughs> I don't think anyone really appreciates how to draw a Rob. You look, see what? Hello? 